In this video, I'll demonstrate how to make a rhinestone template within Corel Draw. We're going to start off with a basic shape. On the left hand side of Corel Draw, you want to select your basic shapes tool. If I click on the little triangle, I'll have more options and I can choose basic shapes. Go towards the top of Corel Draw and you have your perfect shapes option. If you click on the little triangle in the bottom right corner, you'll have more options available. I'm simply just going to choose a heart. To draw the heart, you can simply click and drag your mouse on your page. To make a perfect heart, which would be the same size and height and width, you can hold your control key on your keyboard down while clicking and dragging your mouse. Now I need to make the size of my rhinestone hole which is the hole that the cutter is going to cut in the rhinestone material so that the rhinestone falls into place. We're going to use the SS10 sized stones and my directions tell me that the hole size that I need to make for my template is 3.1 millimeters. To make that hole I'm going to choose the ellipse tool on the left hand side of my screen and simply click and drag my mouse drawing a circle while holding my control key so it's a perfect circle. Now I need to size the circle. So I'm going to go up to my size bars here and just simply type in 3.1 mm. Currently my Corel is set to the unit of measurement in inches, but that is a quick shortcut so you don't have to keep converting back from millimeters to inches within Corel. It's simply typing in mm after the size. So now, now I have my circle, which is my rhinestone hole, exactly the size it needs to be so that the rhinestone falls nicely in place and it's not too big or too small. Now I want to put these stones on the path of the heart. Within Corel you want to select the first circle that you have, go to edit, and then duplicate. And what that will do is create another circle. Now select your blend tool. It's over here on the left hand side. Then you're going to go over to your circle, select the first one you've created, and then click and drag over to the second circle that you've created. Now we have to put these circles onto a path. So at the top of Corel Draw, you want to select Path Properties and then New Path. And you'll see this arrow on your screen pointing down. You want to select the shape that you want those circles to go onto the path of. Now go back up to More Blend Options and choose to blend along the full path. As you can see, the blend of rhinestones now have spread out along the entire object size. Now you can control the space in between each stone and the amount of stones here under blend objects. You can increase or decrease by selecting the up and down arrows or you can type in a quantity. I typed in a hundred. I can see those circles are overlapping. So that is too many stones. So I'm going to start decreasing my size until I see a good amount of space in between each stone. Choosing the amount of space in between each stone is very important. If you have too much space, then the stone itself, while you're sliding the stones across your template, could get stuck in place because when the blade actually cuts through the stencil material, a little lip could actually be formed where the blade is actually cutting into it causing the stones to not completely glide across the material so they could get caught up on that little lip so you want to make sure that the distance between the stones themselves is not greater than the stone width. I'm just going to do this visually. I also want to make sure that my stones I have like a stone in each point of my heart because I think that looks nice. Now you could technically create another shape and measure the distance between each stone to confirm that it is less than the actual stone width itself but I'm pretty good at guessing so I can tell that this distance between each stone is less. Now I want to break the stones away from the actual object 
So to do that, you go to Arrange, and then Break Blend Apart. And then you want to ungroup everything, so you go back up to Arrange, and ungroup all. Now I can select off my image and focus on only the actual object's shape that I used for the path, select only that shape, and delete it by just selecting delete on my keyboard. So now I have my rhinestone template. You could simply draw a weed border around this design uh, by using the rectangle tool just clicking and dragging across the heart itself and that will create a square so the cut line will go around it so you have all if you have a bunch of transfers nested it's easier for you to separate those from each other they don't look like a bunch of tiny dots that is how you complete making a basic rhinestone template within CorelDRAW